Worship human being, Lord to God, and think we're worshiping God, Lord to God, the being of the universe. God is a spirit. God is invisible. And we can replace, Lord to God, the deity of worshiping human being and not worshiping God. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube video. So my assignment today is to help you. A nation that worshiping your pastor, your bishop, your apostle, glory to God, hallelujah, your leader, and not worshiping the Lord Jesus Christ. Hey, glory to God. In glory to God in Jeremiah, the 23rd chapter, verse number one and two. And say, woe. Yes, woe means trouble. Be unto the pastor that's destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture, said the Lord. Therefore, thus said the Lord God of Israel, America, South Africa, or the world, against the pastor that feed my, sh my people, ye have scattered my flock and driven them away, and I have not visited them. Behold, I will visit upon you the evil of your doing, said the Lord. Woe unto the pastors or bishops or apostles that scatter the sheep of my pasture, said the Lord. Hey, glory to God. Now, the reason why I'm making this video, glory to God, is 10 reasons why make you worship your pastor. Yes, 10 reasons why you worship your pastor. And I have a clip after I say number one, what people are doing. And we gotta be, we, we as a nation, we gotta be careful how we worship human being and now worshiping, glory to God, the creator of human beings. The creator is Jesus Christ. Your, the creator is not your pastor. He glory to God. Hallelujah. Number one, you call him Papa. He glory to God. Yes, you call him Papa. He glory to God. Or Father. Hey, glory to God. The Bible say, glory to God, call no man father upon earth. Hey, glory to God, for one is your father which is in heaven. And hey, the clip. Spoken to me in your life before? No. Have you ever spoken to me before? No, Papa. Have you ever spoken to me before? No, Papa. No. All right. Number two. Hey, glory to God, we are more faithful in the church than home with our children. Let me stop right there. Because I remember in the beginning of my marriage, hey, glory to God. And when I look back, it hurts me as it hurt my wife. I used to be at this church. And every Saturday, they would have a car wash. And I was at the car wash more than I was home with my pregnant wife. Yes, I was home with my pregnant wife. My wife was pregnant, hey, glory to God. And I was at this car wash building up this church and building up this pastor that didn't care nothing about my pregnant wife. And my wife, when I look back, it hurts me. That's why I love my wife more now than when I think back and see what I brought her through. Yes, I was at this car wash, and I was there on Saturday for the whole day. And when my wife tell me what she experienced while when she was home with my, I think my, my second child or the third child, hey, glory to God, but I was at this car wash, and I was not faithful to my wife that was pregnant, but I was faithful to this church and this pastor. So the Bible say, my friend, Hallelujah. Glory to God. You are more faithful in church than home with your children. And if you are a newlywed, spend time with each other. Don't spend a lot of time with the church. Glory to God. Because I'm going to tell you how it is. It's God, the family, and the church. Because you, my friend, hey, glory to God, it's the church last. It's your God first and your family second, and the church. So if you are having problem at home, go to God, hallelujah, spend time with each other. Because hallelujah is God, the family, 
and church. Hey, glory to God. And he, the church can mess up your marriage. Yes, your church, your pastor can mess up your marriage. Glory to God. Because you spend more time with your pastor than with your spouse. Hey, glory to God. So, so, so what make people worship their pastor and not worshiping God? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Number, number fourth reason now. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. Number fourth reason. Number third reason. Hey, glory to God. You, you give him financial gain than to pay your bills and your children go hungry. Come on. Hallelujah. God don't want you to be starved while the, ch while the church is exalted. Hey, the, the pastor more fatter than your children. Your children are suffering while you're giving your last penny to, I know the Bible say, my friend, bring it all the, 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 the storehouse, hallelujah, and, and, and there will be no room in my, in my house. Hallelujah, hallelujah. But we gotta be very careful, my friend. Malachi is according to the, the priests. It's according to the Levites. And we are not priests and we are not Levites. Those days are over. Hey, glory to God. And that's why, my friend, we got more crooked pastors and crooked bishop in the house because we are ignorant concerning the scripture. Bring ye all tithes in the storehouse and it be meat in my house. Now, we got to be careful because in those past time, the Levites, glory to God, didn't work. And the children of Israel had to take care of the Levites. But we don't have no more priests and Levites in hell. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. We have people that are working. Hey, glory to God. Look at uh, Paul. Paul was a tent maker. Look at Peter. Peter was a fisher. Look at Luke. He's a physician. Hey, glory to God. So we gotta be very careful, my friend. Your children going hungry because you're giving all your money to this church. The pastor driving around in a in a Tesla, oh God, a Rolls Royce, and you, he got a jet, and you're still taking a bus. He, he, the pastor live in a mansion, and you still live in an apartment with roaches and rats. Come on, wake up, church. You are worshiping your pastor. Hey, go to God. The pastor, if you go up, if he go up, you ought to go up with him too. Go to God. You don't stay down. Jesus Christ said, I become poor so you can be rich. If your pastor is more prosperous than you, he's selfish. Hey, glory to God. Yes, he's selfish because he's not preaching the kingdom. The Bible say, glory to God, my children, God desired to give you the, the blessing of the, of the kingdom. Hey, glory to God. So God wants your pastor, glory to God. If the pastor is bl blessed, you ought to be blessed. If the pastor drive the Mercedes Benz, you ought to drive a Mercedes Benz. You should not be taking a bus. And he got a destiny to say, bah, bah, goodbye. No, my friend. It don't work like that. Hey, glory to God. So, the, so number third, right? You give him financial gain. Then you pay your bill and your children go hungry. Number four, your, fat, your, your past is fat. And you losing weight at the waist. Look at it. You are skinny while your while your past is fat. Hey, go and I'm talking about not not w e number not w e i g h t. I'm talking about weight. I'm talking about glory to God, money wise. He more fat. He lives in a luxurious home while he live with an apartment with rats and roaches. He, he driving a bitly while you're taking a bus, while you're taking a car that can't even start. He go, it, it make a lot of noise on the highway, and he pass you. He said, bra, bra, hi, sister, sister, so and so. No, the pastor ought to bless you with a car also. Hey, glory to God. I know a lot of people ain't going to like the sermon, but I'm telling people, you worship your pastor. More than you worship God. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. Now, fifth reason, you, you feature your pastor than Christ. When we draw people to Christ, my friend, we are not to be telling about our pastor. We are to tell people about Christ. You, it, we invite people to see Christ. The Bible say, my friend, if I be, this is what the Bible say, and I, if I be lifted from the earth, will draw all men unto me. So when you invite people, invite them not to see your pastor. He's a man. 
Let them see, glory to God, Christ. Because Christ is the reason for salvation. Christ is the reason for them being filled with the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. My friend, we got to live Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the main feature, not your pastor. Hey, you know, number six reason, we fall down and worship him. No man but Jesus Christ, hallelujah, only to be fall down and worship. The Bible say, my friend, in Philippians 2.10, he say, that at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess, glory to God, on earth and things in heaven. We should not worship or bow down to our pastor. Hey, glory to God. Like those people that do in South Africa, they worshiping their pastor. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. Number seven reason, they are flesh. The Bible say, glory to God. Yes, they are flesh. Your pastor is a flesh. Hey, glory to God. The Bible say, thus said the Lord, cursed be the man that trust in man and make his flesh his arm whose heart departed from the Lord. Your pastor is a flesh. Hey, glory to God. Number eight reason, glory to God. We have too many faith in them than in the Bible. The Bible says, have faith in God. They didn't say have faith in a pastor. Have faith in God. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. I'm going to tell you, my friend. Hey, glory to God. We got to trust more God than we trust man because man will let you down. Hey, glory to God. Now, this is part one. Catch me on part two.